This is a quick unboxing review of the ISDT Smart Charger. So this is the charger, inside you're getting a small instruction manual and we're getting the charger itself. Let's go around it and see all the connections. So first of all we have the dial that we use in order to navigate through the menus, it's clickable and it rotates. On the back we have the power, it's an XC60 connector, it accepts 9 to 32, 32 volts. And on the left side of the charger we have the output, so we get we have an XT60 battery connector and we have two cells to six cells balance charger. On the bottom you can see there is also a vent. The reason this char I bought the charger because I think it's a very useful charger to charge my batteries on the go. I'm just gonna quickly weigh it up. As you can see it weighs around 107 grams, so it's pretty light. So here are the specs of the charger, if you want you can pause the video and have a look. Uh, it supports LIFE, LION, LiPo and also the LIHV batteries, which is pretty useful. And you can see here, these are the dimensions of the charger. I'm going to power up the charger with my the two three cells battery, so you just insert it here and it self-testing the charger okay let's go through the the settings so when I press here this is the 11.4 volt, volt this is the battery of the input the input source and uh, here is the output and this is the temperature of the charger so these are two screens in order to get to the main menu you just have to press long press the right uh, dial and then we can change the max input power can be 140 150 160 watt minimum input voltage can be from 9 volt to 24 volts backlight there are three modes we have low middle and high and we can change the volume from high middle low or either turn it off the language can be set either to english or chinese which is cantonese or mandarin I'm not really sure and you can see the OS info as well in order to get back just press here if you press it a long a short press we'll get, we'll get it to the task setting so we can either charge discharge or storage the battery can be either lipo lihv li lylon life pb and nimh i'm going to go with lipo and the cells can be set from one cell to six cells. The current from you can set it from 0.1 ampere and it goes all the way up to eight amperes. I'm going to charge a 1.8 uh, ampere battery, so I'm going to set it to 1.8. This is the battery that I'm going to use the charge. To ch I'm going to charge the charge with. So you just Put it here, this is the battery, and then you can put the balance connection. By the way, once you will put the balance connector, it will auto recognize the battery. So you can see here it's three cells. If I'm gonna take it out, let's set it to four cells, and if I will put it back, first of all, you can see here the battery voltage, the indicator, you can see the voltage of each cells and if I do short press it will auto recognize it on three cells and then you just press start and it will start charging the battery. On the top right side you can see the percentage of the battery that has been charged. Here you can see the milliampere hour that has been charged the battery. This is the ampere hour we are the, the, the current we are charging the battery with and on the middle of the charging you can also change the current can see now it's changed to 1.7 or you can stop the charging process.